Well, hello there, my friends. Welcome back to the Scott Reed Project. Now, this is part two of that lamb home kill video. You might have seen part one. If you haven't, the link will be in the description. So what we did, we killed two, I suppose they'd be hoggets. Obviously a lamb is up to 12 months, 12 months to two years is a hogget, two years to three years is mutton. So we're gonna do a very, very basic uh, butchery masterclass because the guy who wants this lamb wants it pretty much left on the bone. So we're just gonna take off the legs, leave them whole, take off the shoulders, leave them whole, split the loin into chops. Then we're just gonna trim up any of the trim and the breast, put it through the mincer and job is a good one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring the camera nearer so we can get a better view and we're gonna get on with it. So what we're gonna do first then is we're gonna break this down into its three primals. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Let's get it maneuvered. What I wanna do first then is just take this neck off so we can have some neck rounds on the bone. So basically just following almost the contour of the shoulder, cut all the way through. And then just gonna saw through it. Look at the color of that. Isn't that beautiful? Right, next we're gonna have off the back legs. Now, the way I favor it, as you may have seen many a times before, straight up where the tailbone is to that first joint, find the next one along, and then just get your knife in. Very simple. And then join up the cut. And if you look there, as you can see, we've gone right through the vertebrae. Soaring through. There's our legs. Beautiful sized legs. So we're going to split the legs. Couldn't be easier. Straight through the pelvis. And then straight down the middle of that tailbone. Nice and straight. Then what I'm gonna do is just shorten off those shanks. One, two. Then, just trimming off that bit of flank there. This will go to mince for any pies, you know, shepherd pie, or burgers, or sausages. And what I wanna do is just trim some of that fat off. Then we're gonna cut this chump off, or what would be the rump. So we've got the pelvis, the hip bone. We're just gonna say a finger width, aiming slightly towards the tail. Straight across. Through. Just have a look at that. Isn't that absolutely wonderful? So the man wants one leg left whole and one 
in half. So we'll use that as the whole leg. Fantastic product. And then we will just, again, same principle, just taking off that flank, taking off any excess fat. And again, that hip bone, about a finger's width, just towards the tail. Straight through again. When you hear the saw stop through the bone, stop, use a knife, clean any bone dust off. Again, another beautiful rump, another beautiful leg. So just get rid of any undesirables. Fantastic. So what we need to do then, if you look on the leg, you might be able to see there where the patella is, the kneecap. You can, let me see if you can hear it. There's the bone ends. You want that mark there. So just if you want to just mark it and then we're going straight across. And this gives you a really clean cut leg. Nothing worse in a butcher's shop where you've seen they've cut the legs in half and they haven't gone past that kneecap and you get that big horrible looking bone there. I mean it makes no difference if it's a home kill but just as a butcher's point of view the aesthetics you know it's important that gives you beautiful look at that half legs whole leg so we will move on to these rumps or chumps. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go really old school here because he likes it on the bone, is I'm just gonna loosen off that bit of the tenderloin. And there is a natural seam in between these bones here. I'm just gonna trace it. I'm going to trim off any fat, we'll square it up and what we can do here is some decent chump chops on the bone or rump steak on the bone, whatever you want to call it. One. So, and then you've got these beautiful bone in steaks or chops, whatever you want to call them. So, again, just trimming the fat. Loosening that tender, and you can hardly see it actually, but in again, squaring everything off. And then into three. There's my chiller just fired up. Wonderful. 
So we'll move our chumps over there quickly as we're going along. Just any trim. Now this was home killed, like I say in the video. It's perfectly legal to kill your own beasts, cattle on your farm small holding. As long as it's done on your small holding or farm and it's done by you. And obviously, because it hasn't been to a slaughterhouse, it hasn't been tested by a vet, you know, it cannot go into the food chain, but it's all right for personal consumption for you or your family. So, just trim that up. There's our neck. Put that over there. Next, we want to work on the loin and the shoulders. Okay then, like I said, next we're gonna deal with this loin and the shoulder. First thing I want to do then is to take off these breasts. So pretty much it all depends how long you want your loins. Try and get the blade under continue cutting there's one flip it over so I'm just going to go right in under the arm pretty much keeping it straight beautiful knife and then just follow it can be a bit tricky but all the way through that gives us our two breasts and then the conventional way is to count six ribs one two three four five six mark it one two three four five six mark it making sure they both join up and just with your knife saw through And what you should have done here is, on that six rib, is just caught the tip of the blade bone. I mean, it doesn't really matter if you go too long, too short, you know, it's no big deal. This is home butchery, as you can just see, there's the end of the cartilage of the blade bone. And if we have a look here, you can see it sticking out there, and there it is. In there very simple then like I said the guy wants it left on the bone so what I'm gonna do actually now if we'd have banded these that means push these till they set never had any bands it would have been a lot better what I'm gonna do I think is just nip these off very quickly and they will be boned out for Again, pies, sausages, burgers. Because we haven't banded these, obviously, where you expect the joint to be, it's not there. Because we haven't naturally set it. So you have to go a little bit longer and you'll find the join, very simple. Job is a good one. Now what we need to do is we're gonna go straight down this paddy whack, which is that yellow thing running down there. That's what holds the beast's neck up. So either side, all the way out the top of the neck and hugging the bone. The other side, and it's just a case of going down the rib cage, nice and close, nice and tight. 
as you can see tracing that eye we've already loosened it off and then just cutting through and down if you can see now we're joining that cut we made and it will pretty much just fall off on its own trim again any fat he really doesn't want any fat on this take out that paddy whack There we have one beautiful shoulder. Beautiful. So we repeat with the other side. So following the ribs, tucking under that eye. And again, same this side, cutting through the fat, just keeping the knife straight, coming straight out on that neck and again down the bone and there we have shoulder number two again always trimming squaring it up on the paddy whack and there we have our two shoulders Done in. So waste not, want not. We're going to go in between every rib very quickly. You know, it's not a lot between each rib, but it all adds up. It'll be a burger. It'll be a sausage. What it won't be is wasted. And flip it over up there and then in between this side keeping your hands out of the way this knife is a demon Always good to trim all your bones. It's good practice. It's good butchery. And there you go. Like I said, not the biggest pile in the world, but it's a burger. So quickly, I'm just gonna take these hocks off the bone. Very simple. Follow the bone. Don't be too fussy. You can always slash it off the bone at the end. Very simple, very quickly. Nice and clean. And then repeat with the other side. Job is a good one. Take off that Achilles tendon, don't want to put that through the mincer, any tough bits, there we are so far our trim pile. Right, third and final primal, the man wants lamb chops, nice lamb chops on the bone and that is what he will get now we could leave these whole and cut some Barnsley chops out the loin end and then just split and get some cutlets out of that best end or we just go proper old school saw it down the middle and nip through the vertebrae trick here is to get slap down the middle of that bone We're kind of like joining that first saw and you've really got to give it some stick now.
in half. Spinal cord out with tip of your steel, just running it down. But if you've got the old school round ones, that's waste. And then always getting rid of that bone dust. Now we just want to sort out this breast meat. So very gentle. If you see, I've just gone about half an inch past the eye, straight across. Nip these ribs out. Nice and simple. And obviously in between those, get the meat. Now we're going old school, so we're gonna roll that up. I don't want too much of a flap of meat there, so I'm gonna go straight across square it up now I can roll it now we go in between each vertebrae or as we call it through the sixpence this block don't help being bowed Now we're on to our loin end here. Now if you find it's hard to go through, you can use an old knife if you want to. I just give it a tap. Because obviously this is an older animal, the bones are a bit thicker. So they don't always snap through. Not a lot of pressure though. Square that up. Don't want that bunching out. And there we have our chops. A repeat with t'other side. Like I said, this is a very basic, old school way of cutting lamb. It's the kind of method when you're first learning butchery, you know, that you do shoulders whole or in half, legs whole or in half, breasts can be left on the bone and these just cut through as chops. Right, see you in a second. Okay, so all that remains to do then, like I said, is take these breasts off the bone. Again, we'll go in our trim, really simple. Just traveling the knife over the top of those ribs. Obviously this would be the brisket on a cow or the belly pork, pork belly on a pig. Absolutely fantastic, rolled and slow roasted. Just trim that bit of fat out of that end there. And I'm gonna do the other one really quickly We'll lump it all together and we'll see what we got out of this beautiful, beautiful beastie. So there we have it then, our whole lamb butchered. We got our shoulders kept whole. We can always cut those in half. We got the neck I've cut off into some rounds for some stew. Obviously our breasts, we've gone straight down the loin. We've got our cutlets or best end of neck chops. Our loin end, we got our chumps or rumps and obviously our leg whole and then half. It's a beautiful looking thing, isn't it? Just have a look at that. 
we can have a look straight down. Not a bad job, if I say so myself. Well, there you go, my friends. That was the lamb, the whole journey. You saw it being slaughtered, it being skinned. It was, what should we say, gutted, eviscerated, whatever you want to call it. And then it's now been cut up. One lamb, field to fork by the SRP. Now, if you've enjoyed what you're seeing here today, please click subscribe when my face comes up down here. Also, get me on my social media on Facebook. I've got two pages, Scott Ree and the Scott Ree Project. Get on there, click like and the follow button. That's the like and follow button. Also on my Twitter, at Scott Ree Project. Also on my Instagram, at Scott Ree Project. And if you're feeling loved up, check out my Patreon page. But until next time, I hope you've enjoyed this. I mean, I enjoy doing these videos. They're absolutely amazing. Uh, I love it. That's all I've got to say. Take care.